Good evening, I'm Randy Beamer. And I'm Delane Matthew. The number of victims in a federal immigration fraud case has really exploded. Now, the feds first told us at least 20 people were ripped off, they say, by a Lavernia woman who had promised them green cards and citizenship in exchange for money. However, there were some surprising developments today in federal court, and that's where News 4 San Antonio's Randy Escamilla joins us live. Randy? Delane, federal prosecutors now say there are as many as 60 victims connected to this woman. We expected her to plead guilty today, but instead she surprised everybody, including a federal judge, when she indicated she wants to go to trial. 48-year-old Yolanda Artiaga left the federal courthouse this afternoon in shackles and handcuffed. It's a far cry from the combative restaurant owner we caught up with last spring, confronted by three victims who accused her of stealing tens of thousands of dollars after promising them U.S. legal residency. If they gave it to me, then it was a gift. I didn't steal a thing. News 4 San Antonio has learned federal prosecutors plan to use this interview if the case goes to trial. She says, who did I kill? Well, I haven't robbed anybody. Absolutely no one. If I had stolen, do you think I'd be here? In court today, Artiaga rejected a plea agreement. That's when federal prosecutors announced she would face the maximum punishment for being what they called the mastermind of a ruthless scheme that preyed on undocumented immigrants. Leticia Torres is a victim. She says Artiaga stole thousands from her. Today, she told us the U.S. government is helping some of the victims become legal U.S. residents. La intención de todos nosotros era um, arreglar nuestro estatus legal. Our intentions all along were to achieve legal status, she said. That's all we wanted, but this is a door that opened up, and it's what we wanted from the very beginning. Government sources tell us 13 of the victims have already been placed on a one-year probationary status, which means they can be in the United States legally while immigration attorneys take up their case. As for Artiaga, she will be back here next month. She can either plead guilty or if she's convicted by a jury, she could be locked up for the rest of her life. Reporting live at the federal courthouse, I'm Randy Escamilla, News 4, San Antonio.